guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle and today we are talking about the T8 Max O2 running mask. Now T8 is a brand that you might have heard me mention before. I did a review on the T8 Commando running shorts in a previous vlog and also I featured wearing the T8 uh, Max O2 running mask in one of my previous vlogs. I think it was the day in a life so you can check those videos out or you can keep watching because the focus of this video is specifically the running mask. Now, um, T8 is a Hong Kong based brand that specializes in tropical weather endurance gear. Their products have appealed not only to ultra marathoners, but also all the way down to your basic weekend warriors like me. <laughs> so, T8 is available in the Philippines via the shop at Raceyaya website. So, it's shop.raceyaya.com. Uh, they are the official distributor of T8 in the Philippines. Now, um, the Max O2 running mask is available at 650 pesos in one package like this. It's already been opened and it contained two masks actually. So that's 650 divided by two. Really great deal actually for a performance type mask. Now, as I've said in my previous videos about masks, these are non-surgical, non-medical masks. So you should not be using these in a medical setting, but these should be okay to use in like in other settings, like when you're doing sports or walking around in a mall or basically just hanging out where there are people, but not necessarily people who are sick with the virus that we are all avoiding. <laughs> So this is going to be a really short video because how much can you say really about a face mask? So this T8 mask is basically a single layer of that same material that the T8 running shorts are made of. While it's very high tensile strength, it's also very thin, which you can actually see because you can see through this black material. Uh, it's also um, held in place or held in shape by, um, I don't know, this is a plastic little part that keeps the fabric away from your nose. It's capped off on either end by some plastic pieces which sit on top of the nose and under the chin. Basically, that's it. The ear loops are elastic material and they're very adjustable so it's pretty much one size fits most it's more adjustable than most masks that you see in the marketplace that is the t8 max o2 running mask i think it's called max o2 because you can really breathe through it and um, especially as you pick up the pace and the effort that's really what is very important to you it keep the breath Otherwise, you know, you start sucking um, a lot of... Otherwise, it feels like you're suffocating. Um, and this happens in any mask that I've worn. Is that when I start trying to pick up to tempo or max pace, I basically have a hard time breathing. Yeah, sometimes you can tolerate it for short periods of time. But in the end, you end up pulling the mask down in order to catch some great big gulps of oxygen and while that's okay if you're alone if you're in situations where masks are mandatory or needed well it's kind of anathema to be pulling the mask down the t8 running mask really helps you keep the mask on even through hard efforts now where you might find it a little bit objectionable is the fact that it is one ply and I don't know how many microns this allows to pass through but certainly like most cloth masks it doesn't really it's not really a, a great big barrier against viruses coming in I don't know about viruses going out because that's the whole focus of the mask wearing initiative in the world these days it's not really to protect you against the virus it's to protect others in case you have the virus this still does increase the humidity behind the mask 
which um, makes the virus particles larger which basically it, it, it prevents them from really going out and if they go out then they fall a little bit closer to you they don't really travel as far at least that's how I understand um, what uh, cloth masks are meant to do and I think this might be okay of course there are other of my fellow runners who've used this like say Yael Wenceslao and um, Patrick Concepcion the running shield um, the the founder of the Kondura marathon they're both very avid runners and they run nearly every day Patrick I know runs every day and uh, they've tried the T8 running mask alongside other kinds of masks not necessarily just for performance but even just the lifestyle cloth masks and for for Yael he said that he liked this T8 running mask because it was very breathable and so that it really helped him to keep up his pace and performance during hard efforts however he felt uncomfortable wearing it in more crowded places like for instance if you were running in the UP academic oval on Sundays that's usually the peak day of people coming in and using uh, the outdoor facilities for recreational exercise now if you're running in a crowd like that this certainly does not ex inspire confidence the thinness of the material so um, in those situations the these guys Patrick and Gael would prefer to use a thicker mask or two-ply mask of course because this comes in a two-pack maybe you can just wear two at the same time <laughs> uh, for me because I do run in a residential setting where I don't really encounter too many people um, along my running path I like using the T8 running mask especially when I really go for it in my hard efforts on days when I need to do easy stuff I try not to wear this because um, the thicker masks actually remind me that I need to be going slower. This Saturday, I will be running a virtual 10K as part of the Standard Chartered Singapore Marathon Grand Final Virtual uh, Club. So I'm doing 10K and you can do 10K anywhere in the world as long as you upload your activity between now and uh, December basically the Sunday this coming Sunday so yeah I have to do it in one um, one activity and to tell you the truth I actually haven't run a 10k since before the quarantine period so that was a run without a mask so I haven't gone past seven kilometers while wearing a mask and it's been really difficult to get to seven kilometers while wearing a mask I'm hoping that by wearing the T8 Max O2 running mask I can actually get myself to go 10k now also because I'll be running in UP um, there are going to be wider roads and longer straights and so it'll be easier mentally also to run 10k but physically I think this will really help me get that run done and over with so yeah I really like the T8 Max O2 running mask um, of course if you do have those qualms about um, preventing yourself from breathing in any rogue virus particles when there are many people around you then yeah of course this might not be the mask for you but if you're reasonably assured that um, the virus has is um, diluted in your outdoor settings then yeah this is my preferred mask for going long and hard now have you used the t8 max o2 running mask what are your thoughts about it please do leave it in the comments box below or you can reach me on social media you can find that in the description box all of my social media if you have any questions about the t8 running mask please do let me know so i can try to get that addressed for you again the t8 max o2 running mask is available on shop.raceyaya.com it comes in a resealable package two masks for 650 pesos of course that doesn't include shipping so um, you do have to check 
uh, how much shipping will cost to your part of the Philippines. That's it guys for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give this a thumbs up if you found this informative. Please subscribe if you haven't yet so I can see you again next time. Bye!